Hey, hi. Hi, Mona. And if you're here, we found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. It's time for another reading. <laughs> it's kind of thundering out there. Chica's right here, frightened. It's okay. She's okay. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to shuffle one time so we can get a general energy. Okay. You guys might hear some thunder. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, we got the Seven of Pentacles planting some seeds, right? Somebody out there has plans, right? That's usually what planting seeds is all about. <sighs> Somebody else plans, and they put those plans in action, you know? Um, <clears throat> whatever it is. It could be um, school relationships, just about anything, anything that gets you started on a path to do something that you want to do, plain and simple, okay? Now, in the reverse, we have people who are just thinking about it, they're just talking about it, but they're not taking any action. They're not. It's like uh, people who like to talk, right? Big talkers. Oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do... And they don't do nothing. You see them years later and they haven't even got started yet. So, you know, those are some two options that we have going on right here. Okay, we're going to put in the upright because we like the upright. We like people who are going to take action, right? Take an action on, on their goals, on their dreams, whatever that is, right? So let's go ahead and get five cards out and see what this leads us to. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. We're at a new spot and, you know, it's different energies, right? Different energies for new spots. Um, sometimes, I don't know, sometimes they drag on, who knows. <laughs> it's just some cards that fall out that we are going to figure out here. I see a little critter right there. Okay. But welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're entertained by these readings. Maybe you just like the stories. That's cool. But if you're here because you're feeling some kind of way, let's see if we can help you out with some advice. Right? That's all. Just some regular, good old-fashioned advice. That's about it. Now, if you are new... And you like the reading and it resonates or whatever. It's a story. I'm going to tell you right now. It's a story. But sometimes the stories will resonate. And if it does and you like my concept of the tarot and how things are going. And you like how I like nature and all that stuff. Because I see bugs all around. And I'm not trying to mess with them. <laughs> but you know what? They don't like the incense. So they will be leaving this <laughs> area soon. Um... I see a little bug just floating around here. It looks confused. You know what? Maybe someone out there is confused about something. Okay? It's a possibility. Kind of confused about maybe how to get started with this, um, these goals, right? Anyways, if you are new and you like the way I read, you are more than welcome to subscribe and like the video. We like you here. I need one more card, though. <laughs> it's like pulling teeth. Okay. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The death card. It's over, right? Something's over. If you were confused about whether or not something it's over, yeah, it's over. But for some people, it's not, you know? And it's not over because somebody is refusing to let this end. Whatever it is, I don't even know. But it's something. Right? I should have I should have put a little plate under the incense, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. We're gonna figure this out. Okay. So yeah. Somebody, you know, somebody knows that something's over. You see the little buddy right there? Hi guys. 
I don't mess with the uh, wildlife and the nature. <laughs> I mean, they have to enter here at their own risk, you know? At their own risk. Somebody might be planting some seeds on a new idea. Doing it at their own risk, right? Thinking like, you know, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyways. And you know what? How else are you going to learn unless you try stuff, right? Yeah. So good idea for someone out there who's who likes to take the risk just to see maybe it's going to work, right? Yeah. Okay. But we'll leave this in the upright because some people might feel like this situation is over. Something that they were dealing with is over. Right? Could be a job, a relationship, a friendship. Could be anything, really. That was the Everyday Tarot. This is the Flamingo Las Vegas Aristocrat deck, okay? These are the decks that I am using. So starting out here, we do have the Three of Swords. So it looks like a relationship-y thing. I should have paid attention. I kind of wasn't. But, you know, it looks like that something is over. Right? Somebody's planting new seeds. It might be that whatever is over here, somebody here is not really that hurt by it, right? Someone is. Someone is. But someone's not because, like, the energy they have right here is, well, okay, it's over. I'm going to start something new, you know, plant something else, plant some seeds for some new goals. Hey, that's the way to go. You know, this might be someone who's hurt and this might be the other person or... This could be the person who's going to start planting seeds because they don't want to sit in this heartbreak energy. And you know what? I don't blame you. And you're not wrong for, for not wanting to sit in that energy. Nobody wants to sit in heartbreak. Okay, something comes to an end. You're sad. You, you deal with it. You cry it out, whatever. And then you start new, right? You can't sit in that energy forever. You are stronger than that, all right? You don't need that bull corn in your life, all right? It's better you move along and then you, you know, you do what you need to do. Simple, right? And that's Chica trying to catch some sort of critter in here. <laughs> Sorry about the bumps and the sounds and everything, but... That's just how we do out here. Let's see about this heartbreak. Why is somebody so heartbroken over this ending? All right, somebody is. Somebody is heartbroken. And you know what? It is what it is. So you're heartbroken, or so I'm just gonna say you're. I'm not saying you specifically, all right? But somebody is heartbroken here. But they're letting those knives fall out, you see, and that does definitely coincide with this planting of seeds. They're not going to sit in this backstabbing heartbreak energy. They're going to, you know, let those knives fall out. Gosh, I don't know what order, but I'm going to, uh, somebody, okay. This is also the moon in reverse, right? But this is also walking away or coming back. Somebody wants somebody to come back, but because moon in reverse, right? Somebody has realized some secrets and illusions. You know, this is, this could be why somebody's heartbroken because somebody must have, might have thought like, oh, you know, they'll never do me wrong. No, you know, just really putting someone on a pedestal and then bam, heartbreak, backstabbing energy, you know, real finding out about some sort of secrets and illusions. Somebody could have found out that somebody was cheating. Somebody was lying. Somebody was stealing. Somebody found out something like that was going on. Look, they're defensive. Seven of Wands is a card of being defensive. So somebody here is defensive over this situation. What's at the bottom? Look, sad over the loss of this relationship. Okay. So this definitely is one of them love readings about some sort of ending, you know. Don't sit in that depression if you're the one that, you, you know, is feeling the most hurt from this. Okay, it's not the end of the world. It, it really, really isn't. It might feel like it for a little bit, but it's not really. 
It's not. And you will find better, you know, you will find happiness, even if it's not finding a new relationship. Even if it's just, you know, you realizing self-love, right? You realizing that life ain't so bad when you love on yourself, you know? You know, the only person that we could really trust in this world is ourselves, right? Once we have that trust within ourselves, self-love, knowing that we can do it, we are enough, things start to change in your life. You know, they changed in my life. I didn't love myself. I was doing bad things, you know, um, turned to addictions until one day I was like, you know what? This is not me. And I don't want to live like this. You know what? And I, and I tell you, oh, get over it. I say that all the time, but it took me like two years. <laughs> it took me like two, maybe three. You know, I wasn't really keeping track, but it took me a while. But I'm at the point where I'm okay now. I'm okay from that. And I'm happy, you know. So just give it some time and you're going to feel better when you feel better, you know. Somebody out there is not sad over the loss of this relationship, right? So somebody, somebody wasn't happy anyways, you know, regardless of what happened, you know, it doesn't even matter. Somebody here was not happy in the relationship and that's why it ended. And, and just because somebody wants you there doesn't mean that you need to stay there and be unhappy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep moving. All right, I hear the thunder out there. Okay. All right. Tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Somebody out there was juggling. They were possibly seeing other people, doing other things, just doing the most, multitasking. That's what the Two of Pentacles is. It's about doing too much. You know, somebody could have even been planning with another person behind somebody's back. You know, and that's, that's not very nice, but crap like that happens, you know. There are people out there who, you know before like if they know a breakup is coming they will find someone else before they break up so they have somewhere to go yeah that's like a hobosexual you know somebody who <clears throat> dates somebody or, or who is with somebody just for a place to live somebody here couldn't have been putting in pulling their weight when it comes to the household chores duties and finances or bills whatever yeah, there you go. Ace of Swords, the card of truth. <clears throat> Somebody wasn't pulling their weight. Okay. If you're in a relationship, <coughs> oh, you know what? If those, that, those incense ain't scaring the bugs away, they're going to scare me away. <clears throat> Already starting to cough from the smoke. It's okay. It is a-okay. I'm, I'm fine. <clears throat> Anyhow. Somebody wasn't pulling their weight. You know, relationships are like 50-50. It's like a job too, kind of. You gotta you gotta work to make it work, right? You gotta do things to make things work. Somebody here wasn't pulling their weight. Maybe somebody here was paying all the bills, cooking, cleaning, doing everything, and the other person wasn't doing nothing, sitting at home, watching Netflix, goofing off, possibly, you know, doing things they weren't supposed to, maybe while someone was at work. That's terrible. <clears throat> Inviting people over while somebody's at work, partying while somebody's at work. This is 100% possible, okay? Let's see what this is. Ten of Pentacles, right? So somebody was, do you know what? I think this too much isn't somebody was doing too much, juggling. I What I think this is, is somebody may have been working, just like working, working, trying to make ends meet, paying all the bills, doing this, doing that, and, and you know, bringing in the dough because they want, you know, the future to be bright. The Ten of Pentacles. This is about longevity. Right? So somebody out there was working really hard to bring in this Ten of Pentacles. Could have been this Queen of uh, Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> okay? This person uh, doesn't like liars and always wants the truth. 
this per this is a person you know who is possibly wondering about these secrets and illusions and this they found something out somebody found something something out somebody may have had somebody check to see what's going on at the house while they're at work mm -hmm. that just popped into my head it could have happened but who knows somebody got caught i think somebody found out about these secrets and illusions and then it kept them up at night nine of swords it kept them up at night they couldn't sleep they're like dang what did i get myself into this person they ain't doing shit you know oh my back is hurting this is something i'm just getting it doesn't have to be but i'm getting somebody saying their back is hurting or they have a number of medical issues which is why it's hard but then again you don't see them going anywhere you don't see them going to the doctors you don't see them uh who else do you see when you're not social services maybe maybe they're not even going to social services to see if they can get help or medical attention nothing nothing someone out there is being a mooch a freeloader and somebody is seeing this and they're up at night and they're like dang how how can i fix this they don't know how to fix this and it, you know they're kind of defensive with the this person that they were dealing with who was the freeloader i don't know why this juggler would feel like you know so sad over this oh no it's these this person is feeling sad over the loss of the relationship with the juggler because the juggler is not really like juggling per se this person is working extra hard extra hours whatever they need to do to make ends meet constantly up at night because tripping out how am i going to get this bill paid because i got this person over here who's always defensive but i found out they're doing something sneaky behind my back and you know they want to let these knives fall out because they feel like maybe this queen of swords told the truth and said you know what i can't deal with you no more this person may feel like the Queen of Swords is backstabbing them by breaking up with them, by ending the situation and starting new. Well, you know what? If this person ain't doing shit and they're just laying around and complaining all day about how they hurt and this, that, and the other, but they're not doing anything about their health, ain't no one want to hang out with you. Ain't no one going to be there to pay your bills for you. It's up to you to take the necessary steps to fix yourself. And if you ain't going to the doctor and you ain't doing nothing, then I could see why this Queen of Swords is walking away. She's tired. She's working hard. She's up at night wondering how she's going to get these bills paid because with an extra person there, the bills are higher. Right? It's starting to rain. I can hear the rain. So somebody here might be crying over the loss of this relationship, possibly because they had somebody, you know serving on them hand and foot paying all the bills you know that's that's messed up <laughs> i'm gonna say right now we have the seven of cups in the reverse and, and you know in the end this person doesn't have no options right maybe the queen of swords does the option to walk away start something brand new end this bad relationship but this person no there's no options no one's going to take take them in like she did. This person needs to go out and fi figure out how to fix themselves. You know, If you are this person who's all broken down and somebody broke up with you and you're wondering why, it's because you're not pulling your weight. If you are this queen of swords and you're still, you haven't really ended it yet, like maybe it's coming or you're thinking about it, you're going to do it. But you know what? Don't feel bad about it. Because maybe your back hurts too. Huh? Right? Maybe you're tired from working two jobs. Whatever the case, you you know, you got your problems too. It's like you got to add another, you know, no. Uh-uh. What is it at the bottom? Oh, well, yeah. That's the truth. There you go. So somebody here is not going to have no options, right? And, you know, those options could be, I don't have any more options left for you. So the final option here is to end a relationship with you because I just cannot support you anymore. 
You're not doing anything for yourself, not going to school, not going to the doctors, not fixing your, nothing. And so this is maybe why we have the seven of cups there in the reverse. You know, you've depleted all your options. Oh, look, the knight of wands, uh, swords. That's me telling you how it is, telling the truth. Somebody here uh, could be, you know, there could have been passions involved here. Okay, we have the queen of wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. <clears throat> this person might be telling this person over here, you know, this Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands could be the same person because it's a whole situation right here, these three rows. This person could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart and Aries Leo Sagittarius in her chart, but this Queen of Wands is very passionate. She works hard. She goes after what she wants. Right. If she has some goals, she takes care of those goals and she has ran out of, out of options when dealing with this broken heart. You know, this person who, you know, letting the knives fall out, found out about the secrets, who's all defensive. You know, she's like, you know what? I am too passionate and I am too honest for all this. So I'm going to have to lay it, lay it all out on the table here. And tell, tell this person what's going on. And I think that's what's happening. Someone's ready to tell someone, like, hit the road, Jack. Something like that. Or somebody here is deciding. And, you know, you could flip-flop the roles, too. We could be talking about a man who's doing this to someone else. A freeloader lady. You know? Because the Queen of Swords is a person who wants the truth and tells the truth. Hey, if that's the energy, men want the truth and men want to tell the truth, too, right? Queen of Wands here. She's a very passionate individual. She goes after what she wants. She works hard to get it. Men do that too. Men are passionate and they work really hard and go after what they want when they want to get it. So you got to flip the role and see however it fits for you. You know what I'm saying? All right. I didn't want to confuse anybody with that. Maybe you have to uh, rewind a little bit and listen to it again. I don't know, but this could be a male or female who is letting some freeloader go. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? Queen of Cups. Okay. So this could also be, because these are all people in the upright. If they were in the reverse, that would kind of change up the whole story. But since they're all in the upright, it looks like, it just came to my mind, we could be dealing with an empress, right? The only card that's missing here is the queen of pentacles right but she's working on it juggling these jobs trying to build the money the finances the longevity all this stuff she's a little stressed out yeah and you know even doing all of this she still seems to be remaining very loving and very nurturing and very kind somebody has taken advantage of another individual out there I kind of feel like it. There we go. Ace of Wands. This is also the Strength card. This could also be a card of, you know, sexual desire or whatever. Somebody here may be, you know, putting it down. You know, that's only good for so long. When somebody's juggling, paying all the bills, you know, trying to do the best they can, that wand gets old real quick. You know, some people out here, they think that they can put it down so good that that's going to pay the bills. No, it ain't. It'll get old. It'll get old. I'm telling you. If you don't have that mutual love and respect, ain't no one got the magic wand out there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Okay. Page of Cups. Now, this is the obstacle or advice, right? Uh, there might be a pregnancy here. Darn, I see a fish in the cup. This is why somebody might be working really hard. Somebody may have gotten pregnant. And whoever's pregnant might be all do working and doing all kind of thing to pay the bill. And the person that got her pregnant ain't doing shit to support her or the child. You know, or vice versa. Right? Somebody got somebody uh, pregnant, possibly. And they're like, man, did I make a mistake? Because, you know, even though 
you know what? Even though women are pregnant, it doesn't mean that they have to sit on their ass all day. And, you know, when I was pregnant, I was in the military. Shoot. I was up in, in the military still doing firefighting drills, carrying 50 pound uh, extinguishers while pregnant. Yes. Up until like, what, a couple of weeks before I had my child. You know what I'm saying? And and I even had the tuxemia, you know, the ankles so they get swollen, whatever. I was still working, still doing drills, still in the military. Uh, yeah. Okay. So no one can tell me, well, you, how, how do you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know I was doing that shit. You know? And I was supporting the hus the ex-husband. Yes, ex-husband. Okay. Yeah, so no, okay? <laughs> you can flip-flop it any way you want, okay? Anyways, let me get another card. This sounds familiar to me because I was supporting a bum. You know what I'm saying? At one time in my life, but I got over it. You know, I got over it. You get over those things, you move on, you realize what happened. Okay, I'm not going to make that mistake again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, okay? Everybody's got some kind of story. They might, there, there might be different, but it's, you know, it's a story. Even mine, mine is just a story that happened to me long, long ago. Ten of Wands, burdens. What is this one? I'm going to put this back, but let's see what is it. Five of Pentacles. Somebody left someone out in the cold or is going to leave somebody out in the cold. And somebody is not going to be left out in the cold because they're going to feel guilty. They're going to feel guilty. Somebody's going to turn, oh, please don't let me go. Please don't. And then some, the other person who's the kind-hearted one is going to say, all right, I'm going to give you, you know, your 20th chance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, it happens, okay? So somebody might be pregnant or they might be offering somebody something, right? Because they just can't let go of this, right? Now, we also have the four of wands. This could be family or soulmate energy. I don't think this is soulmate energy. I think maybe that, you know, family is maybe involved. Family is, is trying to say, hey, what are you doing? You know, pregnancy doesn't mean you have to stay with the person. Some people get pregnant because they feel like it's going to keep the partner. No. That's a wrong, wrong reason to um, try to keep a relationship together because the person who suffers is the child. Okay, so keep that in mind. Somebody feels that this situation is a burden. And it's probably a burden because somebody could be pregnant and somebody didn't want, you know. <sighs> you know what, though? Get a, get a paternity test just to make sure, especially if you know that somebody's been doing some sort of something in the background. Make sure you get the paternity test. And you don't need to stay with that person just because they have a child. Trust me, the child would prefer if you guys were separate instead of fighting all the time in front of them. They get two birthdays. They get two holidays. Trust me, the kids ain't going to mind. You got to show them happiness and joy. You know, even if mom and dad aren't together, you got to show them that. Now, if you got a parent that's putting down the other parent, that's automatic trauma towards the child. Okay? Automatic. Even if you're separated. Even if you're separated, you start talking down about, you know, the ex-partner in front of the child. You're already traumatizing that child and causing problems for their future relationships. Don't do that. Don't do that. But it happens. Okay. We still had the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody out there just needs to be strong through this. Yes, you have a lot of burdens. Maybe this Four of Wands here could be, because this could be, you know, celebrating with family or soulmate energy, whatever. I kind of feel like this is a family thing. Maybe somebody out there can lean on their family for some assistance if they need to, right? If you have a good family like that and you can do that, I suggest that you get support from the family. Now, if you don't have family, there's other avenues that you can take. You can go to social services. You can find out how you can um, do this on your own or 
You know what I'm saying? There's all, you just gotta, you gotta put in the work. You gotta look it up what applies to your situation. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so there was love here. Somebody had some love here, but there was a lot of fighting. Five of Wands. That's like fighting. There were a lot of fights. You don't want to show that to a child. Do you? I wouldn't. It's better separate. It's better separate, get away, and, you know, but there was love here, though. Somebody did love another person, but, you know, like I said, you know... You got to put in your part when it's a relationship because things will get old real quick. Sex doesn't glue the relationship together. It really doesn't. Okay, some people out there feel like it does. That's so weird, but it really doesn't. Somebody here may have been lying. We have the Five of Swords. This is a card about lying, not being honest, or planning some sort of deception. Mm-hmm. Somebody was not doing the right thing. And that's why Four of Wands, the death card. We start with, or we end with the death here, and we end with the death here. This is over. If you're trying to hang on to this relationship where there's just not good vibes, you know, there's been lying and cheating and, you know, taking advantage. Don't, don't keep, don't, don't keep that open. It's time to let that go. Your life will be better without this mooch. We, get, we got a moocher here. Somebody mooching off of someone's time, energy, money, whatever. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Look. Somebody's going to feel left out in the cold, too. Because somebody's going to come to their senses and say, you know what? She's right. I ain't going to let this moocher mooch off me no more. It's just a story. But hey, this kind of shit does happen. You know what I'm saying? It's just a story, but this is a realistic story of something that might have happened to someone or many. You got to look out for number one, you. Okay? If you're the one pregnant, you and your child. Okay? If you were the other one, and you got a pregnant person trying to take advantage of you. You got to look out for yourself because, you know, even if you're separated, you still got to go to work. You're still going to probably have to pay some sort of child support or do something or to help for the child. But you don't have to be with that person. Maybe you're sad over the situation, too. But you know what? No. If there's all that fighting and deception going on. No. It's time to go your separate ways right if you want maybe you can try couples counseling see how that works you know before you make the final step but take all the necessary precautions you need to to be double sure that you know hey this is a problem you know anyways those were my suggestions because of trials in my life that I have been through, I try to keep marriage together, everything I could, and just nothing would work. And then it turned into trauma and abuse and all that stuff. Make sure you make, you're make you making the right moves here. Because you don't want to be stuck in something that's going to cause you know trauma or abuse or sadness or whatever in your life. You are better than that. And you can rise up after this. You know? All right. I'm going to end it right there if it resonated. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.